Coming up on the Round 15 Wrap of the AFL Today Show, we crown the Sydney Swans the greatest team we've seen ever. It's fantastic. Wait. Hey, Stats Guy, what did you like about this round uh, of footy? Definitely not that. I love the signature Lockie Neal performance, and I hate Stephen May flopping. What a joke. I'll check that out. We've also got a bit of yelling about BT, how good the Blues were, how good Sydney were, and some really good player performances. What was there? Was it the best on ground of the week, the best team we've seen? We've got All some, mate, no mates. Yeah. We've got a lot going on. Better check it out in AFL Today, right now. Let's get into Vences. Fraud Adelaide is just still like the funniest thing. I is I I've, I'm glad I'm not a Port fan. I'd be so frustrated right now. So I've got two thing. little things here for uh, Vensesh for this week. Yes, booing Ken Hinckley. Yeah, nah. I don't think you should boo your own team. That's my opinion on any sport. I'm a Boston Celtics fan. I've got this on, and they love to do that when they have a few losses. But no, nah, I don't think you should boo your own team ever. You can boo other. Things, but. I find that like, but you have a sense of excellence about the Celtics, right? That's they they yeah. hold them to a high standard. To be standard. fair, Celtics the funnier, won the most championships. The funnier yeah. aspect is that when the Philadelphia 76ers boo their yes, own team, and they don't win anything, and yeah. so you've not won anything <laughs> yeah. since 1983. Yeah. Well, same as but Port, you could say the same thing. Port, they, same. They don't but, win anything. Haven't, haven't won since what 04? Yes. Uh, like but the point being, like <clears throat> them booing Ken Hinckley, servant of the club, it's like yeah, it's tough, but they've just looked so. And I don't like using this word, but they've looked insipid. It's a bit, and just like you don't like that word? rubbish. Anyway, we'll talk about them again <laughs> later. The other one is a bit of fraud watch. Uh, so I mentioned Stephen May. Mm. Oh. Slings his head into the ground. Li- he's going to get slings his own head into the ground. Slings his own head into the ground. Should get an Oscar for that performance. Absolute joke. So just what I on. hated about this is not only that Stephen May did that, but the night before, Brian Taylor, Ooh, the I esteemed BT bristle himself. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, stats boy, wow, wee! <laughs> Sam guy. Walsh just threw his own head into the ground. Oh, yeah, I did see that. He threw his own head into the ground. No, he, he got tackled and his head hit the ground. Exactly. Like, what are fine. we doing his here? This was fine. This is like, there's a lot of uh, chatter out there, basically going, oh, he definitely, like, you know, made it look worse than it was. Like, no, he, he, the he momentum was that way. His yeah. arms are pinned. Yeah. What is he meant to do? Yeah. This is ridiculous. There is a lot of players doing it, though, which is annoying me so much, and this is the first one that's being so called out on it. This uh, is Stephen May, not Sam This Walsh. is my point. The fact that Stephen May then the very next day actually did it makes it like we could have had a clear runway of just yelling at BT yeah. for going, oh, he bashes his head against the ground or boosh. It's like that's an insane statement to say, and then Stephen May comes Actually out does it, yeah. And did it. Oh, I can't stand so it. There's actually a few Stephen players May. been doing it this year, and it's it's so dumb. They're hurt. They're gonna hurt themselves. They're gonna hurt players. Oh, anyway, that's a that's a whole uh, whole another argument. And to continue the BT thread just for a second, uh, he's getting shouted down on the internet. Like, not that he cares. No, uh, there's a petition, isn't there? There is a petition <laughs> yes. for Channel Seven to just get him off the air. Yeah. Like, many would say about time. Oh, he used to be and awesome. Look, he's dropped off. Yeah. I'm right here, stats guy. I will put my hand up to oh. be the lead commentator. <laughs> Do you have to be like BT? I'll, I'll, I've got the beard. It's yeah. a bit bristly. I didn't oil it today, so she's a bit ragged. Uh, but I think my biggest problem with this was watching that game on Friday night. So you were at it. Watching yes, it I didn't home, hear the commentary that much. A yeah. few tins deep. Mm-hmm. And you're like, couldn't you just, I don't know, you're the lead caller for a game. You could at least sound barely interested in yeah. it. Yeah. He sometimes just a, goes on tangents, but Friday night, you don't need that. You don't need, it was not the even the game. tangents. It's quite literally just like the, you sound bored. Yeah. It's like this is a really good game. Carlton are like playing awesomely. He just did it quite literally like weeks ago when Sydney were just demolishing teams. He was just like, excited from Sydney, yeah. What is happening? Mm. What is happening? I feel like your lead caller should be trying to sell your game, not just be like, ah, ah how good is my job? Like, yeah, Shut yeah up how good am I? Yeah. Anyway, good stuff. <laughs> if you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on, do it now. Do it.